The lateral shoulder procedure is similar to beach chair surgery in terms of how to wrap the arm and most of the parts used. However, there is an additional accessory bar that is used. Either the traction accessory or the 90 degree connector is used. Before the lateral shoulder surgery, the piggyback, lateral shoulder bar and traction accessory must be autoclaved. The traction accessory attaches into the piggyback and the lateral shoulder connection bar inserts into the traction accessory. Prepare the lateral shoulder connection bar with the components from the shoulder stabilization kits. This is the same kit used in the beach chair cases. First, the arm cuff is attached to the bar. The flat bar goes into the black sheath on the back of the arm cuff. Ensure that the tab on the bar is on the underside of the bar. Then the foam hand grip must be cut halfway up the groove. It is then placed over the shoulder bar handle. After the patient is intubated and draped, the spider is placed on the OR table, on the rail near the patient's knee on either the operative or non-operative side of the OR table. Most surgeons prefer the non-operative side. The amplifier is rotated so the double ball and socket is pointing straight up. The foot pedal is placed on the operative side of the table for easy access by the surgeon. The usual procedure to prepare the spider to ensure sterility is to have a sterile person insert the sterile piggyback into the distal end of the spider. The sterile person then will open the base of the drape and drop it over the top of the piggyback ensuring that the top face of the piggyback is completely uncovered. They can then pull the drape all the way down to the spider amplifier, being careful to ensure that the outer drape remains sterile. Then, the traction accessory or 90 degree connector is inserted into the piggyback. Last, the lateral shoulder bar is inserted into the traction accessory or 90 degree connector. After the lateral shoulder bar and kit are connected to the spider, the spider joints are released and the spider lateral shoulder bar is placed just above the patient's hip so that the operative hand grasps the handle and the operative arm can be wrapped. The arm cuff is wrapped around the arm as tight as possible. The spider and arm can be repositioned for easy access during the wrapping process. Take the handcuff and wrap it from the back of the hand around to the front side of the forearm. It is important to have the hand held securely by this wrap. After the handcuff is in place, wrap the long Velcro straps around the wrist and forearm. It is critical to have the Velcro straps wrapped securely. Lastly, the arm can be wrapped with a tensor bandage or coban wrap. To utilize the traction accessory, gross traction is applied by grasping the traction collar and slender arm, pulling on the limb and placing the limb where the surgeon desires it. The amount of traction should read at least five pounds. The traction accessory provides three functions. First, the amount of traction can be adjusted by turning the traction collar. Second, the amount of traction is measured and the scale is located at the top of the traction accessory. Third, it allows the limb to be internally and externally rotated without changing the traction or stepping on the spider foot pedal. The rotation is adjusted in the sterile field and can be locked in any position. In order to use the traction collar properly, the collar must be zeroed by rotating the collar to its bottom position. The 90 degree connector provides the ability for the surgeon to adjust the internal and external rotation during the case, but not adjust or measure the traction.